testing. Check, check, check. <laughs> <laughs> testing, testing. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. Um, first thing I ask is, what is your name, where you live, and what do you do? Um, my name is Kevin Broderick. I'm from Fairfax, Virginia. I play in a rock and roll band. I'm on tour right now. That's why I'm here. What's the band? Uh, the Catalyst. Catalyst. Yeah. So you're going all through Texas? Uh, we're playing here and in Austin, and then we're heading to Memphis and then New Orleans. It'd be awesome. Is this the first time you've been? Yeah, I've never been here before, yeah. First time I've ever been to Texas. So did you come down just to see Dilly Plaza here? Well, yeah, we came here just to see this, yeah, pretty much. What did you think? Of I think it's pretty incredible. Actually being here, like seeing it, it's changed my perspective lately. Like, like, I may be a little bit more sure of what I think happened, I guess. I don't know. How does it change your perspective? Um, uh, it just seems to, seems to make more sense that there was definitely more than just Lee Harvey Oswald shooting the president from the sixth floor of this building. It seems like there was definitely a second person, at least, to me, anyway. What, what was it about the location that made you feel that way? Well, just the whole back into the left from the sixth floor of this building, from where that X is, doesn't make any sense at all. Wouldn't happen like that. And then the, the fact that he went forward and then got shot back doesn't make any sense. And the fact that all the footage doesn't even show the grassy knoll and the fence back there where there definitely could have been another person doesn't really make any sense at all. So I think a lot of it just doesn't add up. Have you gone up to the museum? No, I. Didn't have the money to get in, <laughs> unfortunately. <laughs> Would have liked to, though. Did you uh, go over to the Kennedy Memorial? Um, no, I didn't know it existed. Yeah. Figured that there was one. I don't know where it is, though. Not from it's here. behind the courthouse. If you want to oh, see it later. sure. Probably head over there, the way back. <laughs> um, just a little bit more about you. Like, were right. you born in Virginia? I was born in Boston, Massachusetts. Spent most of your life on the East Coast? Yeah, my whole life on the East Coast. Yeah. Um, do you have any idea who George Vanderlyn Dealey is? No. No. At the same time, yeah, I'm pretty uneducated about the whole JFK thing, so. That's okay. I mean, yeah. I was asking because, you know, Dealey Plaza is named after this guy, and most people don't know who he is. Yeah. So. <laughs> no idea. Yeah. Um, have you, like, read? books about the assassination or seen movies or stuff? Um, yeah, yeah, I've seen the JFK movie. Uh, I haven't really read too many books about it. Just lots of people talking and speculation. Now I've been here, so. Well, what did you think of the JFK movie? The JFK movie? Um, I thought it was real interesting, definitely. I saw it a long time ago. It was long, I remember that. <laughs> Yeah, I definitely found it believable. I, I mean, morally, I found it intriguing. Like, more than believable, just that maybe what they tell us isn't exactly the truth. You know, like it's possible that something else definitely happened. But yeah. That's cool. Um, so yeah, you got over to the conspiracy museum, probably not. So I excuse me. There's a conspiracy museum too over there, by the way. Oh, is there? Tomorrow. Does that one cost money? Yeah. <laughs> well, you can go to the gift shop for a All right, <laughs> gift shop. <laughs> so, uh, so do you have a guess on what happened? Yeah, I definitely think there was at least two gunmen. It seems like there was probably somebody behind the fence over there, maybe. Somewhere, uh, somewhere near the grassy knoll. And uh, then I think, that, I think that Oswald shot Kennedy. I think he shot him in the shoulder. I think somebody else killed him, though. Don't know who. <laughs> Don't pretend to. What kind of uh, music is it that you do? It's rock and roll, pretty kind of punk rock, underground music, I guess. So how do you like arrange? I don't know. I was curious. How do you arrange a tour? Like when you're um, in you know, Virginia, how do you? You just talk to people, know people, set up shows. I mean, you just call around yeah. the country. Or just, you just call call around the country. Play where or what? 
Uh, we just call around the country and talk to people that there's people all over the country that set up shows for bands and you just got to get a hold of them they'll help you out it's the way it goes that's how we did it um, what do you think the world would be like if Kennedy hadn't been killed uh, to be honest I have no idea uh, probably a lot like it is now just a lot less talk about the grassy knoll in this building <laughs> I mean, <laughs> don't know how much it would actually change, yeah. Uh, what do you think the future holds for Dewey Plaza? Do you think people are going to come here oh, years yeah. now, 50 years now? Oh, yeah, absolutely. I think people will always be pretty interested, just, just because there's obviously something there that, like, I mean, it's just, it's just obvious that the people were lied to about this. Something was covered up, and I think people always find that pretty interesting, just because it's pretty obvious something happened that was was lied about, I think. So I, I yeah, I definitely think people always come here. It's just real interesting. Anything else you can think of that I forgot to ask you about? Not really. I think you covered it. All right. All right. I appreciate it. Is that all? Yeah. Hey. I'll click through that.